What do you got going on the rest of the day, though? I want to pay them bills. Yeah. Donato Frateroli and his family know firsthand the impact COVID-19 has had on the restaurant industry. His mother's restaurant, R2 on Beacon Hill, is closed for good. I remember when my parents opened it, it felt like a place that was home. It was tough to see. And Donato's first restaurant, Il Molo, in the North End, is temporarily closed. As difficult as it is financially, it's, it's gut-wrenching at the same time. But that hasn't stopped him. Donato added on to the Quincy restaurant he owns with his father, brother, and chef partner, Victory Point. As disheartening as the past six months have been, it's sort of like a, like a little bright light for me. They turned a storage area into a pizzeria. I love making pizza. And a small function space into a gelato shop. There you go, sir. The whole idea was to sort of COVID proof the businesses. Both takeout businesses also added jobs for some of Il Molo's employees who are out of work for the time being. We're in the restaurant business, we got creative. Necessity was also the mother of invention for Brian Poe. I was playing around, I did a horseradish and rosemary peppercorn infused roast beef from some of the things that I uh, that I was growing as well. The chef and restaurateur owns the Tip Tap Room and Parish Cafe in Boston that are closed temporarily, and Bukowski Tavern in Cambridge, which shut down for good. I need food because I love it. I love what I do for a living in the restaurant business, so it gets me connected to the food. Shortly after his restaurants closed their doors, Brian found a way to keep that connection alive. So then we started what I call the Crane River Cheese Club. In the beginning, he was just ordering high-end cheeses for his neighbors who live along the Crane River in Danvers. But the orders quickly grew to include meats, vegetables, rubs, and more, locally sourced and curated by Brian. So all the different things you'd have to wait in line for, we cut the line out. Word spread and soon Brian was delivering along the North Shore and in Boston. A lot of people that really, really cannot go to the store because of health reasons. Now he has a website where customers can place their orders and make special requests. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? No yeah. membership is required, and these purchases support the small farms, fishermen, and purveyors that used to supply restaurants. When we go back to pre-COVID living, do you think you'll continue on with this concept? I think I'll be thrilled to get back into my restaurant, but I think there's a need for higher quality grocery. And one of the greatest lessons I've learned is that the strength and dexterity of our industry is something to behold. Crane River Cheese Club is currently looking for retail space for a possible storefront. Meanwhile, Brian Poe still handles most deliveries himself. He says he loves that connection with customers. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night.